this video is going to be all about Alfred Wegener. So his idea was called continental drift, and it was pretty self-explanatory. It was that um, the continents used to be part of what he called a supercontinent, and that since then they've drifted or moved apart. Um, so the world as we see it today was not how, we, how it was millions of years ago. So the evidence for his idea um, was three main things that you need to know about. One is that uh, the countries look like they fit together. Um, if you look at an atlas, it looks like they're bits of a jigsaw that are pulled apart. The second is that there was fossil types um, that match, particularly on the uh, east coast of South America and the west coast of Africa. And also that there were rock types and layers in the rock that matched on those continents. However, geologists didn't accept his theory to start off with. Um, one of the reasons for this was that they already had a theory that was working for them, which was that there was a land bridge that used to connect uh, South America and Africa. Uh, another reason was the fact that he was a meteorologist, so he studied weather patterns rather than a geologist who studies uh, the Earth and the Earth's history. Um, but the most important reason was because he didn't have a mechanism to explain how these continents were moving. So the acceptance for uh, Alfred Wegener's theory didn't come until um, after he died. Um, in the 1950s, the uh, US Navy had paid to have the seafloor mapped, and um, they discovered these mountain ranges under the sea, um, which were named oceanic ridges. And this theory of um, seafloor spreading came up um, as a result of that. And that was that uh, the mantle was rising up underneath um, the the uh, crust of the earth and it was pushing apart the seafloor because there was new rock being formed. Um, some of the evidence for this was the fact that there was um, magnetic stripes of rock, so rock that was magnetised in different directions on either side of the ridges, um, and that's because uh, rock is magnetised in the direction of the Earth's magnetic field at the time, um, and uh, the Earth's magnetic field changes from time to time. Because the stripes were symmetrical on each side, it suggested it was being pushed apart from the middle. So this provided the all-important mechanism that uh, meant that the theory was finally accepted. 